really excited just looking at this because I think it's going to keep me on track and not let me feel overwhelmed that like I'm not doing all the things that we love to do at Christmas time. I think this is going to kind of take the weight off of like, when are we going to fit in ice skating? When are we going to do gingerbread houses? Like I already know it's going to happen. Hi guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't been very impressed with the advent calendars that are pre-made in the store. So I thought this year I would make something a little bit more meaningful to my kids. So what I'm envisioning is just like very cheap, maybe brown paper bags, or maybe I'll try to find some Christmassy ones um, that just say like one through 25 on them and have a bag for each day and then the kids will just open up one bag a day. I do have three little boys. They are eight, five, and one. So you might want to keep that in mind when I'm showing you all of my ideas. And this is the kind of thing that can be done on anybody's budget. So I'm going to kind of try to keep this as cheap as possible. But there is definitely room for you to spend a lot more money on this or to just do, you know, some candy canes every day and keep it very simple. Um, and then for my family, I would like to include some kind of scripture every day to help us move along the Christmas story. So my kids are really good to stay on track with an advent calendar, so I'm hoping that that will help us read our Bible every day and get through the Christmas story while also having a really fun gift for them to open. So um, if you're a minimalist, I think that you're going to like this advent calendar especially because I'm really focusing on experiences rather than things. And then also... Uh, food because it's the best season for fun treats. So let me show you just my list right now of all of my ideas that I'm going to be using for my family. Now keep in mind we are a homeschooling family and the Christmas season actually isn't that crazy busy for us except for like the few days of Christmas. Um, so we have a lot of flexibility to go do experiences during the day. So if that's not your family's setup that's okay. You might have to focus those experiences more on the weekend or just do more of like the home experiences, like movie nights and things like that. So let me just show you everything that I wrote down. Okay, here's what I came up with for my family, um, just really quickly, popcorn for a movie night. And we'll probably do this a couple times, just ignore the paint on my hands. I always have paint on my hands. Um, so I'm thinking our, our favorites are Home Alone, Elf, and The Christmas Story. Um, so we're gonna repeat that one. And then we'll have a couple days of just some mini candy canes and reading the Bible verse, and that'll be fine. Um, maybe a day or two of some new crayons with coloring pages from the internet. That's super easy or even just some activity pages like my kids love mazes. So I might just find a couple of those to print for my boys and then um, do that for a few different days. Hot chocolate would be a really easy one. I bought some hot chocolate bombs at um, Home Goods recently. So I might do that or even like a hot chocolate bar one night. Um, just again, like something that's not going to hang around the house. It is consumable, but also will give us something to do together. Um, tickets to the Magic House. I have that in quotes because we already have a membership, so that will be free. Tickets to the Children's Museum. Um, I will have a membership by the time the Christmas comes around because I always buy it on Black Friday. There's just a Children's Museum in our town that's kind of small. Um, Christmas socks for one day would be relatively cheap and something that they'll actually use. Um, a hike would be one of the activities we'll do. I might do that a couple times. Um, you can include a Christmas craft. So I imagine just like putting pieces of an unfinished craft in the bag for them to assemble. And that would be something that we could spend time doing together. Um, baking and delivering Christmas cookies. That's pretty self-explanatory. I have a recipe that I want to do a video on soon where you can make like five or six different types of cookies from one dough. So I look forward to doing that soon. Um, one of the days or maybe two of them, I'm going to go buy just a couple like little Lego sets. Like they come in plastic bags at Target. Tickets to go see Christmas lights. So there's a couple really good drive through where we can go drive to the Christmas lights. And some of those will be free. Some of them are paid for. And then we also have some neighborhoods that just do really good home lights. Coupons for holiday ice cream. We really like going to like Steak and Shake and getting their holiday shakes once a season. So we'd probably do that one night. My boys don't need new gloves or hats this year. I already bought those at Costco, but uh, that would be a good idea for you if that's something that they need. This would be a good chance to gift those. 
We have a store in our town called Chef Shop, and it's like a big popcorn shop also, as well as like uh, it sells a bunch of cookware. So my kids would love, they're always asking to go into the popcorn shop and choose a flavor. So I thought that would be a fun thing to do together. Pizza night, we love making pizza together. And then a uh, Christmas puzzle. And I think that just with all of those ideas, that'll fill up 25 days, especially with repeating a few of them. And I think that's going to give a really good assortment of just like activities to go do together, things to do just together at home. And then, uh, you know, mostly things that are free or very cheap. Now what I need to do though is actually go through my planner and see which day I want to do each thing and what number that corresponds to on my advent bags. And then go shopping a little bit for a couple things. I mean, of course, this isn't going to be as easy as I initially thought it was going to be, but I do think it'll be worth it. Okay, so I had a very successful trip to Target, which no surprise there that I was able to go to Target and find a bunch of things that I want to buy, but they already had most of their Christmas stuff out in their like Christmas department, and so they had a ton of stocking stuffers back there, and that worked out really well for me. I did hop on to Etsy and just do a really quick search for an advent printable for kids. Um, I just really wanted like a verse or two per day just to walk us through the Christmas story and I will link below the one that I purchased. Um, it's not like an affiliated link or anything. It was really just the, one of the first ones that popped up and I liked her artwork. So also I uh, laminated the verses which I haven't had my laminator out in a long time but they turned out really well and now I can use them every year because the scripture is not really going to change anytime soon. So. I'm glad that I'll be able to reuse these. I knew if I left them just the regular paper that they were going to get absolutely destroyed. So I have these all in order now by day and off camera I went through and just organized all of my to-do list um, just going 1 to 25 for the days of December. So I had my planner out on one side and then my list on the other and just looking at what days we have other things going on already and which days are weekends. That's how I based which thing is going to go in each bag. And I know this sounds really complicated and I just hope that you know that if you're watching this and that sounds really overwhelming that you can literally just put candy in your kids advent back bags. They does not have to be this complicated. But I'm really excited just looking at this because I think it's going to keep me on track and not let me feel overwhelmed that like I'm not doing all the things that we love to do at Christmas time. This is kind of actually giving me more of a schedule, which is something I'm really bad at. Naturally, I do not like to plan things, but I think this is gonna kind of take the weight off of like, when are we gonna fit in ice skating? When are we gonna do gingerbread houses? Like, I already know it's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen on certain days. I've never planned anything for our Christmas season before. It's always like fly by the seat of your pants. So I think this is actually gonna bring some peace to the season, hopefully. Um, maybe I'll let you know at the end of December how that actually worked out, but. Um, I feel like it's going to take some of that pressure off to get everything done because I know that each day we're at least going to do one thing that we really enjoy for Christmas time. Um, so I have all of that stuff laid out and I'm going to just pull out by day right now everything that I got at Target that needs to go in each bag. I'm just going to start at day one, show you what I got, and then I'm going to hang it up. I have this big bulletin board behind me. I think that's what I'm going to use for display. And I'm going to have them uh, scrambled, so I'm not going to do the dates in order because I know my boys will enjoy more of like that hunt for each day. Um, and it's going to be a little bit more colorful than I probably would have chosen if I was doing it for myself. But I'm just looking for something really playful for them and something that's going to catch their eye and get them really excited. So it's going to be random. It's going to be colorful, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so for all of the bags that I'm gonna be using to hold everything, I have a couple packs of gift bags from Target. Um, this one pack was $3 for a pack of six, um, and then same price with these. And then I have a bunch of just like paper sacks that I already had on hand. So just to save some money, I'm just gonna disperse these between the more colorful ones and maybe add some ribbons at the end or something, I don't know, or I might just leave them plain and write the number on them and save me a little bit of trouble. So I'm gonna start with day one, um, it has John 316, and I wanna do a colorful bag to start. So I think I'll do this one. And according to my schedule, um, day one, so December 1st, we're going to do um, a new Santa sleigh, like Lego set that my husband and I picked out last week at the Lego store. 
My kids have no idea what we bought it yet, so it should be really fun. It's really cute, but it might be too big to fit in this bag, so I might end up having to write in a little card in here about that. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my verse inside and then pin this one up on the board. On December 2nd, we're doing popcorn and a movie night and we're watching Home Alone. So I should have grabbed the popcorn bags. I don't feel like running back upstairs, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the verse in here. I'm just gonna put notes on here about things that I still need to include. So anything that has a dot means I need to put it in there. Um, so it has the verse, I just need to add the popcorn and then that will be day two. And then uh, December 3rd is a Saturday and we are going to go on a jingle hike. So I wrote out my card already that says jingle hike. And I will just stick that in the bag with this verse for day three. Just put that one in a paper bag. And then at Target, I grabbed this bag of mini Girardellis and my boys really like the peppermint candies, um, but I like that they're super tiny because I'm not a huge fan of giving my kids candy every day, um, but this is so small. It's literally like the quarter size of a regular Girardelli square, maybe a third of the size. Um, so every time that we have something that doesn't really involve um, anything tactile for them, like our hiking day, I'm gonna put in just a couple of these, um, for each, one for each boy and uh, a little sign about what we're doing. Okay, December 4th, I'm doing candy canes for each boy and um, three of these Harry Potter ornaments. Uh, we have been reading Harry Potter for the past couple of years, but they are big fans right now of the first two books and the first two movies. I'm not letting them watch the next movie until they finish the next book, but they're still pretty little, so we're kind of waiting for the books as they get a little bit older. Um, but look at how cute this little miniature set of ornaments is. I don't know what's up with Hermione's coloring. It's a little crazy, but they're so cute. Um, so I'm gonna put, I guess I'm gonna put two in per day because I'm gonna have three days of Harry Potter ornament. They're so cute and they're so tiny. I know I'm not gonna be able to show you that. Oh yeah, you can see it. How cute is that? So candy canes and ornaments, um, pretty affordable for one day. And I think my boys will really like these. Oh, almost forgot my verse after that one too. Okay, day five, I'm gonna pack them in, up this garland craft I just got at the Target dollar spot. It's pretty simple, mostly just gluing and then weaving through the string. Um, but I think they'll, they'll like doing this one, it's pretty quick. And then we can hang it up all season. And then adding in my verse. Okay, moving right along. So uh, December 6th, we're going to the Magic House um, in St. Louis, which is like their really big children's museum. They love it there and we have a membership, so this one was free. Um, and again, I'll put a couple of those Duradelli chocolates in the bottom and uh, just a card that says Magic House, which I already cut out and made just out of this cardstock. Okay, here it is, just as a trip to the Mag Magic House. Okay, so just a card, scripture, and then three more little chocolates. I will say this is requiring my utmost organizational skills right now. So I am very focused. All right, December 7th. Um, it's just another candy cane and ornament day. Only this one is going to be, oh, so this one is uh, geared more for my one-year-old. He's very into deer this year. I thought this one was cute, kind of realistic. It's $3 at Target. So I like that one a lot. Three candy canes. The ornament, which I lost for a second, oh boy. And then the seventh scripture verse. Number eight, we're gonna go to the Christmas lights at um, a racetrack nearby. So on December 8th, that's a Thursday night. I think we almost always go on Thursday because I've heard in the past that the wait to get in can be upwards of like three hours. And we've never had that because we always go like on a random weekday. So I want to go on the 8th on a Thursday, a couple weeks before Christmas, hopefully avoid a three hour wait in the car because it's cool, but it is definitely not like three hours in the car cool. And we normally just pack um, hot chocolate when we go. 
So I'm not even gonna put candy in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the tickets in. The tickets in. So I have to find the one that says Christmas light drive-in tonight. And that's the eighth day. Okay, so the 9th of December is a Friday, so we're gonna do another movie night. Um, we're doing Christmas story that night, so I need to find my little card. There we go. Movie night, a Christmas story in there. My number nine scripture. I need to put a dot because I need to put my popcorn in here again. Okay, and then number 10, we're gonna bake our Christmas cookies, hopefully to do, hoping to do a big batch. I don't know that we'll have time to deliver them to a ton of people. So I'm not gonna write deliver on the card um, because if I say that we will, and then we end up not being able to, there will be big feelings about that from one of my kids in particular. So I'm just gonna say we're baking the cookies and then if we are able to deliver them to at least some family or friends, I will just tell them that later. Okay, here we go. And this is another chance, like if you don't have a lot of cookware for your kids already and you wanna spend the money right now, it'd be cute to gift them like an apron or a whisk or even like their own mixing bowls. My kids have most of that already, so I was just gonna save my money and not do that, but that would be a really cute addition for this. Or if you found like some sprinkles to include, that might be actually something that I wanna do. There's a bunch of ideas you guys can do with this one in the bag. I'm just keeping it really simple. Okay, moving right along, day 11 is more Harry Potter, wow, ornaments and candy canes. So I'm gonna go with this one here. Okay, and then I said earlier, I'm gonna put Ron and Hermione in this bag. And then the verse, which I almost always forget. Okay, that's day 11. And then day 12 is a trip to the Children's Museum here in my town, which I will have a membership to, so that'll be another free day. So I have the peppermint candies going in. Oh, I'm gonna write the date first. That was what? Oh gosh, the 12th. I almost need like an assistant for this job, wow. Okay, on the 12th, I have my scripture. I have my three candies going in. And I have my little car that says a day at the Children's Museum. It's not really true. Normally we spend like two hours there tops, but same thing. And that's number 12. And then number 13, ooh, I said coloring pages and I haven't printed anything off for that. So I'm gonna put a little green dot next to that one. So that's 13. Day 14, I'm doing three hot chocolate bombs, which like I've mentioned a couple times now, I got these at Home Goods. If you don't know what a hot chocolate bomb is, it's it looks like a ball and it's hollow and the outside is chocolate. This one has marshmallows inside, but there's a bunch of different varieties you could buy. And you just pour hot milk over these in a mug and these will melt and turn into hot chocolate. Um, so it's pretty cool for kids. If you haven't tried these yet, they get a kick out of them. And that was day 14. I'm just gonna do another brown bag because I haven't done one of those in a while. Okay, so the ornament that I got for December 15th, which I'm gonna go ahead and put the scripture card in before I forget, is this super cute little uh, camper wagon trailer. Uh, and I really wanted to get this one because we did our first camper trip this year on our own. We don't own a camper yet, it is definitely like top of our wish list right now, but we would need to buy a truck first, which is not the right time right now to buy a used truck. And, um, you know, then we would have to buy the camper. And those are two really expensive purchases. So we have not done that yet. Um, just kind of keeping our eye on the market, but we did borrow um, family members RV, not an RV, a camper and uh, had a great time. So I thought this would be a good time to grab this. I probably would write the year like 2022 on the bottom just as like a memento. So every year we pull it out and we can remember our first camper trip. And I just thought that one was really cute. So I'm gonna put that in here with the candy. 
All right, day 16, we are gonna go ice skating at the new skating rink in our town. We haven't been yet. I'm a little nervous about it because I'm not a great skater. I actually broke my arm roller skating in junior high. It's the only bone I've ever broken. So I feel like it kind of gave me some bad vibes with skating just from there on out. And I don't find ice skating much easier than that. I think my kids will get a kick out of it though. They've never been ice skating before at all. So we'll try it, see how that goes. And that's the 16th and I put the Bible verse in there. And then the 17th is another, oh, it's Saturday actually. So we're ice skating on Friday. Saturday on the 17th, we're gonna do another movie night. We're gonna watch Elf. So I have that card already written out. And then the 18th is a Sunday and I'm hoping that that'll be a good day for us to do gingerbread cookies. And so this will be another chance if you don't have a lot of cookie cutters that you could include those in here. Um, or even if you don't wanna make your cookies from scratch, you could find a gingerbread cookie mix and put that in here too. And that's 18. So the 19th, now I'm gonna take the boys up to pick out some popcorn at the chef shop. So here's the little, let's go get popcorn at chef shop. The 20th, I'm thinking that I can take them to the trampoline park. And then 21 is, we're gonna go out and get probably steak and shake ice cream, even though there is a local ice cream shop that does holiday flavors too. But we're just gonna go somewhere that has a holiday ice cream flavor and then um, drive around to some of the neighborhood Christmas lights. So that will only cost us the ice cream and then the house lights will be free. Okay, and for the 22nd, we're just gonna do a Christmas puzzle together. I can't fit that in the bag though, so I'm just gonna tell them, along with their scripture, to play the game hot and cold and I will hide the puzzle somewhere in the house and tell them if they're hot or cold and help them find it. And I'm gonna put the three peppermint candies in this bag also. And then for the 23rd, I have my last two Harry Potter ornaments, which are Snape and Dumbledore. So cute. And then the Bible verse, and then the last three candy canes. It's actually working out really nicely. I didn't do any math to know if I would have enough candy or anything, so that worked out well. So that's 23. And then 24, um, I'm gonna give them their Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve. And I obviously can't fit those in the bag either, so I'm just putting a note in there to find their pajamas. And I will hide those somewhere in the house also. And then on the 25th, it's, um, a Sunday, so we'll spend actually, I mean, I'm sure we'll get up at like five in the morning and do all of our Christmas presents at home and then we'll go to church. So um, that'll be a really busy Christmas day already with it being on a Sunday this year. So I'm just gonna have our final scripture in there for that day. And then we're gonna have so many gifts to open. Like this is to me the perfect way to end our advent calendar. Um, it's just with our final bit of the Christmas story. So I think that that worked out really well. And that's it, that's all 25 days. So I have a few days where I need to go back through and just fill in a couple things. But overall, I mean, this this was an idea I literally came up with this morning and now at the end of the day, it's already done. So as daunting as it seems, it was really just more of a matter of me like planning everything ahead of time, which I never ever do. And um, that was just daunting to see all the things I want to get done and then figure out which days I want to do most of the things. So I do think the schedule will work out. Obviously we're going to, have to be flexible if something can't go on a certain day um, for whatever reason, probably because of sickness because we've been sick so much, but we'll just hope for the best for the holiday season. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pin these up on the wall. I have a creative community Facebook group that you could share your images or even a little video if you wanted to of your advent calendar. And I would love to see the ways that you make it work for your family. So if you haven't joined me over there, make sure that you join me on Facebook and I'll have that link down below. And I'd love to see what you guys are working on, even if it's just crafts for your antique booth or for around the house. Okay, I might have lied a little bit. I said I did not need it to be aesthetically pleasing and I believe that is true, but I did end up adding just a little frame with a ribbon and then a wreath in the center and just kind of rearranging the bags. So, um, you know, it's still not the best looking thing in the world, but it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And I forgot to mention that as we 
uh, take down each bag. I will just repin back up the Bible verse. So at the end of this, the board will be filled with just all the Bible verses and all the gifts will be gone. Um, so yeah, once again, super excited with how this turned out. And I am going to officially be done messing with it now though. It's good to go. I'm gonna leave it alone. This is the final look. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed at least watching the process and being a part of my entire day, which this took about all day to actually accomplish this, but I'm really glad to have it done and ready to go. I really appreciate you watching today though, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.